and uh, my mom. <laughs> <laughs> my mom was thinking about rescheduling the test. I'm like, no, no, I'm taking it this time. I'm taking the test this time, but we didn't have a car because, well, we would have taken our van, but the emergency brake wasn't in the middle. <laughs> so my parents called Baba and they arranged for me to take her car out for the test. And we also got Pappy with us too. And I passed. I passed the third time. Hey. <laughs> I still recommend you guys watch out for that. I can't make any promises here. That's great, but, That's great. You're all night, folks. Yeah, I am. I don't think I'm going anywhere. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. And uh, it's like two or three months later. Um, Uncle Mike sold us uh, Christy and Dave's old Honda, and I still got it with me. It's back there if you guys want to take a look at it. <laughs> feel free, feel free to drop by. <laughs> yeah, and I would remember, I'd go to her house like a few times. I went there like, I went there like twice last month, I think, to go see her for a little bit. And I just remember her talking to me about how everything works in life. Like she would say, I remember the one time she said, what goes up must come down. And I took that advice. I took pretty much everything that she offered me. And, uh, and then like uh, a few years ago, I used to mow her lawn for her. That, that was something. <laughs> <laughs> my, dad, my dad and I would go over there and I'd mow the lawn, he'd run the weed whacker. <laughs> The bees came, I ran the other direction. <laughs> I shut the lawnmower off and I just completely ran the other way. I did not want anything to do with the bees. I don't care if they didn't sting me or not, I do not want to touch them. And then uh, just last Friday we went over there and she was on the bed and everything. We were all there supporting her. And my soul was crushed seeing her like that. And I, what worried me is that I didn't know how long that she had left. That's what worried me a lot. And then I'm at work on Sunday, 10 to 6 to Peter the Mall. And I'm coming home from work in a good mood because I ran into a lot of people at work. And then all of a sudden I hear that, uh, that she died. And I didn't come out of my room for at least three hours. I don't think I pretty much let everything out inside me. And now we're here today, all together. Celebrating. Yep, celebrating, just like what Auntie said. <laughs> and that's pretty much all I have to say today. You're wonderful. Yay, Ben. <laughs> I still recommend you stay away from me on the road. <laughs>